हेलो गाइस इट इज शिवम हियर वेलकम टू पार्ट फोर वेयर वी आर डेवलपिंग द ई कॉमर्स ऐप यू कैन ऑल्सो से अ ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग ऐप फ्रॉम स्क्रैच विद एडमिन पैनल यूजिंग फ्लटर एंड फायर बेस ऑन दिस सीरीज विल कवर सेटिंग ऑफ फायर बेस एज अ बैक हैंड यूजर ऑथेंटिकेशन ऑर्डर ट्रैकिंग पेमेंट प्रोसेसिंग एंड मेनी मोर सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट दैट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this series now let's get started parts we have developed the complete ui of our home page so here you can see the categories and the all product section that we have developed in our last parts so if you haven't followed the last parts then i will paste a complete playlist in the comment box you can follow the complete e-commerce or shopping app from there now in our last part we have also made a bottom navigation bar so i will write bottom nav bottom nav and here you can see the our bottom navigation bar basically a curved navigation bar that we have made in our last part so today first i am going to create a product detail page that will open when the user will tap to this headphone or any product from the home page then it will redirect the user to a product detail page from there they can know the product details and can see the price and can place the order by using the payment gateway so in the product detail page we will add a stripe payment gateway so that the user can also pay directly by using their cards and can place the order and will show that order in the admin panel so first we are going to make the ui of our product detail page so let's move to the pages folder and we'll create a new file name which will be product detail so i will write product detail dot dot and first we'll import the package by using import material dot dot and we'll create a stateful widget name which will be product detail detail yeah now we'll write scaffold body container child column children now first i'm going to show the our product image like when i'll tap to this headphone image then we'll redirect to a product detail page and at the top we can see that exact image that we have tabbed in our home page so in the container first i will pass a background color to my product detail page so i will write background color and will pass a customized color code by using the color widget now i will write 0x ff sorry 0x ff and will write the customized color code which is f e f 5 f1 so this is the background color that we'll be using now in the container first i will show the image so for an example if i will tap to this headphone product then i want to show the headphone headphone image here so i will write image dot asset and we'll write the exact image file name which will be headphone 2.png so let's move to the product detail dot dot and i will just write headphone 2 dot png now let me show you what all code i am writing the product detail page so i'll move to the main dot dot file and i will call our dot file name which is product detail so here you can see the background color and the image of our product which is headphone now let's provide the space from the top i think so rather providing the space from the top we need to create a icon over here which will be the back arrow that will suggest the user to directly move to the home page by clicking to this back arrow now we need to provide the back arrow so i will use icon and i will write icons dot arrow back ios new outline yeah 
so here you can see the icon we need to bring it over here so i will just write cross cross axis alignment dot start yeah now we need to provide the padding from the top so i will write padding edge inset dot only top maybe 40.0 and maybe 50.0 and from the left 20.0 yeah so here you can see the back icon now we will provide the container to this back icon because i want to provide the border radius over this icon so i will write decoration box decoration and i will just pass a border border dot all and sorry border dot all here you can see the border but it should be in the circular form so i will write border radius border radius dot circular 30 so here you can see the border radius now we need to provide the padding to our container so i will write padding padding sorry edge inset dot all 20 ah 20 is too much maybe 10 yeah now it's look good so here you can see the icon clearly now we'll wrap up with a gesture detector because i want to provide some function when the user will tap to this icon so in the on tap method i will just write navigator dot pop context and it will directly move me to the home page dot pop context so here it is done now we need to decrease the image size we'll just provide the width media query maybe just provide the height yeah height maybe 300 and we can center this image so i will wrap up with a center yeah so you can increase the height up to 400 yeah we are getting unnecessary padding over here because the image in the image you can see that there is some height over here basically that's why you can see the padding if you want to crop this image from here and then it will don't take a unnecessary spacing after providing the icon it totally depend on the image that you have just provided over here you can also use a stack because stack will also help you to like provide the unnecessary remove the unnecessary spacing from here so if you want let's provide the stack over here so i will do just one thing i will just write a wrap with widget and we'll write stack and we'll write children children yeah so here you can see the we have provided a stack over here now we can copy this image so i will remove the center from here and we'll paste it over here so here you can see that it has worked brilliantly and it has removed unnecessary spacing after the icon and it successfully moved above and we can see the icon and the image so by using the stack if you have unnecessary spacing on the image you can easily clear that you don't need to just go manually and crop the image and make the work more critical this is the best way like you can do you can simply provide a stack widget over here now let's do one thing we'll provide a container over here which container color will be white and in this container will show the app not the app name the product name the price of the product the details about the product and the buy now button just below this product page so here i will write container and will pass a width by using the media query again so that it can use a complete width of the screen now we'll just need to write a decoration over here and i will write box decoration and we can not margin uh, we can pass the color which will be colors dot 
white and the border radius so border radius dot only because i want to provide the border radius from the top left and top right so i, I will use a top left radius dot circular and will pass 20 over here and will write top right radius dot radius dot circular 20 yeah so here you can't see the container because we have didn't pass any child in the container so i will write child and we'll just write a text widget not a curly braces yeah so here you can see the container but you can see that there is a spacing i mean the padding from the left position because we have provided the padding in the complete container over here so let's do one thing i will just provide the margin from here so i will add margin as in set dot only and i will remove the error as in set not only left 20.0 yeah so here you can see the container using a complete width of the screen and now I will just write expanded over here yeah expanded widget basically it is one of the important widget to make your app highly responsive basically in the expanded widget if it suggests the container that to use a complete height or the width according to the space he have so it's at the widget name suggest expand so it suggests the container to expand completely on the screen how much space is left we need to pass a product name so i'm writing headphone and again we'll use a app widget class to pass the styling to the text now i will provide the padding so i will write edge inset dot only top 20.0 and from the left 20.0 yeah so here you can see the our product name headphone now i want to show the price over here so i will do one thing i will wrap up our text with a row widget and will go to the home page again and will copy this see all text from here and uh, let's move to the product detail page here again and we'll paste it over here now we need to pass a price yeah so i will write dollar and 300 so we need to start it from here so we need to wrap up with a column widget yeah so we need to provide a maximum space between these two text widgets so i will write main main axis alignment dot space between yeah we need to also provide the padding from the right position so we'll write right 20.0 and we'll increase the font size to so we'll write font size 22 maybe 23 yeah so here you can see the our product name and the product price now i want to show some detail about this product so i will copy the text widget i don't think so we need to copy a text widget i will just write a text and will write details and style and will write app widget class again and light yeah so here you can see the detail maybe we can use a semi bold yeah we need to move this text to the left side of the screen so if you are using a column widget you already know that cross cross axis alignment dot start now we need to provide the space between these two text widgets so i will write size box height 20.0 yeah now we need to provide some detail about this product so i'll just write the product is very good have a 
one year warranty or guarantee i don't know just let's just write warranty it have a one year warranty this headphones are too good like if you can like you can also listen a person who is speaking slowly but be aware of shivam he speaks very loudly so it's just a joke i don't speak very loudly now let's provide the sized box yeah now we need to provide a button over here which will be the buy now so i will just write a container because we need to create a customized button so i will write media query dot of context dot size dot width and we will write a child text and in the text i will write a text which will be the buy now and we'll pass a star style text style color colors dot white and the font size may be 20.0 font weight equals to font weight dot bold yeah now we need to pass a color to our container so i'll use a decoration box decoration and we'll use this color over here so i'll copy this color code and we'll paste it here and we need to write color yeah so here you can see the buy now text we need to center that text over here so i'll just wrap up with a center text widget and we need to provide the height between the text and the container so i will use size box height maybe 40.0 maybe 90.0 yeah we can provide the padding as in set dot symmetric horizontal 20.0 not horizontal now we'll write a border radius dot circular 10 so here you can see the button which when the user will tap to this button they can directly pay through the cards and can place the order so we have made a complete product detail page just a ui i know that will connect a backend afterwards in the product detail page where i'm going to also use our stripe payment gateway so this is it from this video on our next video we'll make the ui of our login and sign up page then i will connect a firebase with our flutter app for both android and ios then i will show you how the user can book the specific product from our app and that booking will be directly shown in the admin panel. So if you haven't hit that like button till now, then please hit that like button down below. And also do not forget to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on any of the upcoming videos we upload on this channel. Until then, keep coding, keep having fun. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.